Yeah, TalkSport understands, Gabs, that Chelsea could announce Maurizio Pochettino as their new manager this evening. Um, what's your take on it before I give mine as a, as a Spurs man? For me, when I first heard about it, shock. Only because, you know, Spurs, we've been talking about for how many weeks, go and get Poch, go and get Poch, go yeah, and get Poch. Obviously, something's happened there with Daniel Levy. Well, he hasn't going to got Pochettino win for Spurs. But then Chelsea, you hear about Nagelsmann, you hear about Enrique, and then out of nowhere, Pochettino. Yeah. And sometimes managers really impress owners in their interviews. It happened with Alex and Cleese, Aston it Villa. It means nothing, though. It, no, but I'm saying it happened at Aston Villa. Birmingham City got relegated with Alex McLeish. And a month later, he's Aston Villa manager. Imagine my shock. But apparently, Randy Lerner said it was an amazing interview. Yeah. This, this is sometimes how football works. Has Pochettino put an outstanding interview to Todd Bowley? Do you think it'll work? I don't think it'll work, no. Why? I, think we could, I just think... <sighs> he went to PSG, you know, won the league. Yes, didn't win the Champions League. At Spurs, yes, he got them playing good football. Got him into the Champions League. Didn't win anything with Spurs. I think there's so much wrong with his Chelsea squad, mate. He's got big decisions. Lukaku, does he come back and play? Mason Mount, new deal. Who does he get rid of? Pulisic to Ziyech. Yeah. Asper de Quetta, does he stay on? You know, he's got so many big decisions to make. And I think the, it's going to be tough, mate. One of the reasons I think it... Look, I'm gutted as a Spurs fan. I don't know what we're doing. I mean, Spurs are just a, a shambles. And I say it every week. You know, how we've not appointed a manager to get someone in or even yeah. tell us what's going on. Have we got a manager that we even know... Um, that is going to come in at the end of the season. Just no one knows, and that's what I hate. No one knows about um, you know the hierarchy and what Daniel Levy's doing. I think Pochettino was the perfect fit. You know, you lost the fans this season with the you know with the performances, the way we were playing. I think there was unfinished business with Poch coming back, and I think it was just the it was just right. It, it was the right it, fit yeah. to get him it's back and right, say right. It? We look, you got unfinished business. We didn't back you after the Champions League, League final. It went downhill. We didn't reinvest in the squad, but you know what? We made that mistake, and we're going to bring you back, and we're going to give you money, and we're going to reinvest, and we're going to start this project again. I can't believe they haven't done that unless. There is, unless Nagelsmann walks through the door or Luis Enrique walks through the door at the end of the season, like, okay, fair enough, you might have looked at something different. But for, to let Chelsea go and get Pochettino, you know, I just you, think it's unbelievable. I don't think it'll work you know because him he is Spurs. You know him, you know him, you know, I mean, a Spurs man. What's he going to bring to this Chelsea team? Well, what he is, is a project manager. Mm-hmm. And I, and that's what, that's why they brought in Graham Potter because they wanted this project. And I think he found out very quickly that maybe Graham Potter wasn't made for it, wasn't quite good no. enough to be at the level of where Chelsea are. And I think that what you've got with Pochettino, he's a project manager. He can work with an owner to build a team, build a squad, and build a way of, of pushing them forward. The reason I don't think it will work is because Chelsea are still in the mindset of... Win at all costs. If you don't win, you're out. Like what they did with Roman Abramovich. You know, they don't want a project. They want to win because they've been so used to winning for so many years. So for them all of a sudden to now say, right, we're going to bring in Pochettino and it's going to have this new project going forward. I don't know if the fans are going to get on side of it. And if they have a sticky start, a bit like when Rafa Benitez was manager of Everton, as yeah. soon as it goes south a little bit, yes. the fans will turn. Because whether they like it or not, Pochettino is Tottenham. He's been at Tottenham. The fans still love him. He's still got a rapport with the fans when he's there. So that's, for me, why I don't think it will work. But it's like Alan Brazil said. You know, he said he had um, coffee with him and, you know, he, he was waiting for a call. He wanted a job, mate. I'm he was telling waiting you. for that Spurs, yeah, wasn't he? definitely wanted a coffee, that's for sure, <laughs> Brazil. Never a coffee, is it? <laughs> you, me, and you, me and you both know that. You go out with Alan Brazil at 10.01 in the morning, it ain't going to be a latte. It's going to be a beer. Um, let's go to Darren. He's a Spurs fan. All right, Dezza. Good evening, Darren. Hi, Great show. Thanks, Des. Um, I, I don't want Poch back. And why? the reason why I don't want him back is they say you never should go back. And I th- I personally think, I've I think been you're back. wrong, because I think Chelsea are one striker away from from uh, getting back. Yeah, but winning here, games. Well, here's a scenario for I you, think Darren. we're a shambles. Yeah, we are a shambles. I don't disagree with you. But... There was unfinished business with Pochettino, I think, with the fans, with the club, with Pochettino at Tottenham. Here's a scenario for you, Dazza. Chelsea yeah. announce him, right? Who are yeah. they going to go and try and get? Who do you think Pochettino is going to be on the phone to in the summer? Harry Kane. Yeah, but 
But the point is... The point, the point is about, yeah, they're going to go and get Harry. Harry Kane's got, gone unless he sees out his contract. But the other problem we've got is we're at a point where we need to gut that squad. Hey, Harry Kane's not going to wait around till we get another 12 players and sort out that squad. I know, but you've allowed Pochettino to go to Chelsea and Pochettino's going to be straight on the phone of to our star is. striker and be yeah. like, I want Harry Kane. Uh, and as well, this, Chelsea this, will pay the this, fee. This is why Spurs, we have a problem because we, we look at it from a point of view, someone who's not at the club anymore, old oh, good times were then. We live in the past. We, we don't progress. And that's how we've always been for a long time. And I went to that game against Newcastle. And they were no different in the first half on the other match. And the money they gave me back, <laughs> I, I go to charity because I paid to go and see my club play. And we may not win, but I go to see them play and put an effort in. And they're still not putting an effort in. It was it better against Man United in the second half. Back to me. It was better in the second half against Man United. Yeah, but we've been like that all season. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, that, I'm that disagree with you. But the players are not good enough, Daz. Not good enough. So no, much dead wood there. They don't care. They don't care. They, you can't tell me that Son all of a sudden is a bad player. You can't tell me those players we've got. They don't care. They don't want to pay for the club. They don't. They basically sit there and take on the money that the fans put in and pay for stuff. And the, the problem at a lot of football clubs is the players. The players don't care. You don't see people like Glenn Hoddle. You don't see people like Ricky Villa. Darren, you we, used to, we, we used to have a lot of love for Pochettino who goes to Chelsea. Or will that be gone? I, I don't care about anyone who's not a Tottenham. If they're not a Tottenham, then they're not my club. Well, what about the legacy of Pochettino of of what he what he, he done won with with one Jack? He won nothing. <laughs> but, but, he but, nearly, he got, but he got yeah. you to a final. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly went there, Daz. You pulled oh, yourself. He ranged yourself. He, he got you to then. a final, though, Darren. Yeah, D Darren's not happy, mate. I know he's not happy, but I, I don't know. I, <sighs> but Jamie, quickly I, before we go to the next caller, quickly, we both agreed in the Spurs could finish eighth this season. Yeah. Harry Kane could leave in the summer. If do Harry you, goes, do you if think, Harry Kane do you think the Chelsea? Spurs could end up being a top eight club, not a top six club? No. You don't think so? With the teams that are going to be improving in the summer, Villa will spend, Brighton will keep hold of probably two of their top three players. Yeah, what is a top six club? What does that even mean, Gabs? What does that mean? It means to finish between one and six, mate. Yeah, but but what does that mean, really? Who cares? We've been talking about it for years. Top know, six but, Spurs, top six club. But, yeah, but everyone's improved. Look, That's everyone, what I'm saying. everyone's spending more money. You know, it's not a top, this is it's not a top six anymore yeah, because Newcastle saying. are a billionaire course. football club but now. If, if Aston Villa have got of loads course. of money. That's so what I'm saying. So that if Spurs do lose Harry Kane in the summer, will they struggle to get into the top well, six it's again? It's going to be a fight. Yeah, I, I think without Harry I Kane... I mean, realistic. I'm not trying I to... I think like, Harry, if Harry Kane leaves in the summer, and um, I'm not convinced that we'll invest the money wisely because every sign in our recruitment that yeah, we bring Jansen. in is, is just <laughs> is, is rubbish. You know, so yeah. I think as soon as Harry Kane does leave, I think we could have a season where we're like Chelsea. Man. I think we'll be like Chelsea next season. Yeah. I really do. We'll be, be in big trouble. Let's go to John. He's a Spurs fan. All right, John? Good evening, John. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Right, yeah, mate. yeah, good, John. Look, we've been talking about Pochettino. He's um, Talksport understands he could be announced as Chelsea manager. How do you feel about that? Look, I, I, I enjoyed the time with Poch as manager. He also frustrated me. He made substitutions too late when it was clearly obvious they were needed. And I, I feel he underachieved. Like if you look at the back four he had, Danny Rose, Vertonghen, Olderweireld were playing for the number one team in the world, ranked at that time in Belgium. Larissa had just won the World Cup, and we had Trippier and Walker. He had Ericsson. He, Kane fell into his lap, and that was a great side. Like, if you looked at that side, that was... Yeah, it was a was top brilliant. side. Yeah, it, was a, it was a top it was side. A top, it was a top side. So, he, so there was... And he wasn't the one buying all those players. Some of them were bought for him. Some of them, you know, there was common only... There was other people around doing all that. But what I liked about Potts was he loved the club. He didn't moan about the club. He didn't moan about the players. He worked with what he had. The trouble we've had at Spurs is we've had Mourinho and Conte with their massive egos acting like they're doing us a favour. Chelsea are getting a guy that will go into Chelsea and won't moan about anything else because he will say it's under my control and it's the players. 
the one thing, the one thing that petrifies me about Poch going to Chelsea, Kane's family, from what I've heard, in a very roundabout way, don't want to move up north. Yeah. They're very hurt, yeah? I know. Now, realistically, the amount of money Bowley's spending, they need a striker. We've got the best striker in the world. Yeah, with a year That's left on his contract. Yeah, I, look, I think one of the, John, three. John, I've got a horrible feeling, John. I really have, and I'm and I'm going to hate it. I think I think Bowley is bringing in Pochettino to get Harry Kane. You think so? <clears throat> yeah, I think they're going to go after him big time in the summer. And as well, Jamie, like I'm, I'm not sure Daniel Levy is the sort of guy that will want to lose Harry Kane on a free transfer when you can get maybe eighty million for him in the summer. I think that they will sell him. Here's a question for Spurs fans, and I, you can have your say on this. That if Harry Kane did sign for Chelsea in the summer, would his legacy be tarnished? No. No way. Mate, it's, that's a bad move, mate. It's bad. That is, no. That's a, a big rivals, Chelsea. It's big rivalry. But he has to think it's about huge himself now, mate. He's got to think about winning trophies. They're, they're 12th in the table with 39 <laughs> points. We're talking about winning trophies. <laughs> they're going to be closer to winning the trophy than Spurs. No, they're not. They're not. But would you, as forget about a Spurs fan, as a football fan, what would you think of Harry Kane if he signed a new deal at Spurs? What would that say about him? I would say that he loves the club and he lacks doesn't want to win trophies. And he lacks a little bit of ambition. That's what you I would say. You say wouldn't he lacks ambition? Yeah, I would.